I love this book. The Tale of the Dark Crystal. Ta uh, texted by Donna Donna Bass. One of the one of the great author and one of the greatest books. But I'm not gonna be talking about that yet. I'm gonna be talking about that for the next video. Right at, right when I do my reviews. But I want to talk about artists and and drawings. Here's my theory. What happened if there was no drawing and no artistic? What I believe probably, I believe that basically there's not going to be any more talents. Basically, no one can share their artist, their, well, their artistic, and their style of the, what they could do and create. And here's what I mean. There's a lot and lots of app stuff and tutorials and website that you guys can go on that want to like, be on your mobile phone or iPhones or anything like a computer and there's a lot of tutorials about like how to do these like how to do this or if you want to show people how to do your own well show their artwork that's what I mean to say my bad <laughs> but people in around the world are basically kind of afraid. I'm, I'm sorry to say this, you guys. I'm sorry. But sometimes people don't like to show their artists. Because basically in kindergarten or anything that's in mind, sometimes people don't have any special talent. Because here's what I want to show you guys. This is an old folder I kept and I thought I lost it when I was a kid. This is when I was in first in elementary school and middle school. So, I want to show you guys one of my older designs I have created. And basically, this might help you out with you guys for a bit. And here's what I mean. I was never a good drawler. I never was created. I was never basically anything. I was not very good at design. And this is how I mean. This is basically one of the oldest thing I created in kindergarten. I even got money for this. And this is what I mean. I was never a good artist. I was not, I was not a good speller, but everyone all liked my creating. I was a, basically a huge fan and a huge nerd of me loving Sonic the Hedgehog. I even have like three posters in my bedroom. I have one there, one here, and one right there. Yeah, actually, you can see it. It's right there. And this is one of the videos I watch on Newground. It's basically Sonic being a lazy asshole. And here's one of my designs. I tried to make it to a comic book, and I never was really good at it. I even used papers and giant papers that I could do. See, look, here's how I used to draw Sonic when I was a kid. And literally, guys, I don't care. I love showing my design and everything, but like if you all afraid, don't be afraid to speak up and show your design to anyone. Maybe they, who cares if they make fun of you guys. But I believe everybody around the world has special talent, even even if it's not drawing. It doesn't hurt to show it, show it around the world. And trust me everybody, I was a kid when I made this. I think I was like freaking five or six when I made this thing. I was never very good at drawing Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Shadow. And basically I made Sonic actually punch his nose in the face. And here's none of my other design that I have done when I was a child. Here's uh, Sonic 3 and I was ne never very good at handwriting. I was never very good at it. You can tell that I made a 1 backward and a C. I always had a friend that helped with my handwriting to help me make people understand it. And this is basically all the stuff that I've done. I was never very good at drawing cards. I would show you guys more about these ones because this one is basically the most one I've done on one of the creating. 
I was never even good at drawing human. I tried my best to draw a plane. Hold on, I want to show you guys this one. Look, here's a human with a fucking uh, needle thing and her tail, and Sonic Shadow Knuckle. But I never draw Amy on here. Well, technically, this is Amy right here. If I can fucking find it, there it is. That's Amy, and I try to do a gun practice target. I'm trying to, and this one is basically one of the Halloween thing I did with Sonic. Here's the stupidest thing I did. This is another video that I did on Newground. As a dumbass kid. It's basically about Sonic killing Tails and taking his body part. And I think I dropped it. Right there. And here's the last one. This is the this is the old dumbass thing. It's not Sonic, it's one of my old favorite movie I love called Puppet Master from Full Moon. Well, Full Moon Director will direct. It's a good, it's a good movie and website. It basically has a whole bunch of other designs like Puppet Master, Evil Bond, or freaking like, um, oh, uh, Toy Something, Demonic Toys. That's what it's called. That's what it's called. Demonic Toys. And basically when I was a kid, I even tried to draw everything designed from uh, Toulon's old freaking story and basically his work. I even tried to draw the stupid formula. Don't worry, this is just a dumbass thing from the movie. It's not a real formula. It's not. And before I show you guys this one, this is basically one of the things I did in middle school. I want to show you guys how I did these stuff. These are the papers that I had that could actually help me out to draw these stuff. So I was never very good at draw drawing and other design stuff. And what I mean is, when I got better at drawing Sonic and Tails and Necklace, this is how it all turned out. I even tried to draw Rouge and Charles. Mine's my brother's favorite. Basically, the middle one is supposed to be my brother, the other one is supposed to be my sister, and well, this one's my sister, that one's my brother, and that one's me. I always loved blue when I was a kid. But I just realized I can't show you guys these uh, other stuff. I wanted to hang help me with this, but I can show you this part. But some of the other thing is actually just a drawing tutorial that one from school or two probably on the internet. So I don't know if I might get in trouble for that. So I'll put these in a folder in a bit. Put it right there. So now, what I want to show you guys is these ones. I don't know what these paper thing are called. It's basically like one of those scribble thing, kind of like coupon that you had to uh, cut and make you to design. But here's how this one turned out. I used to, got, I got better at doing cars when I was a kid, so I did this thing. I drew my favorite car I love, but I kind of screw up on this part. I try to make this thing go up, and I made it go down for a bit. I was an idiot. I couldn't do it right. And here's the other one. He's supposed to go together. And this one is a mountain. The other side is supposed to be a horse with stars and moon. Basically, it's supposed to go like this. Supposed to go right here, but I ad actually added a moon here. One of the other one, I did a flower. A flower. I can't. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is actually a, a dolphin. I tried to draw a farm. The last one, another flower. I kind of cut this thing off. Maybe someday, if I could find one of these, I can show you guys how to how to do these. I can find it. I can try to do it on a piece of paper, but I I can't do it. On, I, can, well, I can show you guys how. I don't care. I don't, it's like literally like 5:05 in the morning. I'm not, I'm like full on awake, so I just want to do this quick video. Um, and also sorry for 
This is a stupid piece of shit chair I have. This one. Not old, it's just the bottom thing is new, but this whole, I basically, my dog did it and I was kind of pissed. And, let's see. This base, well, actually, technically, I didn't want to, this is basically trying to explain, like, what happened with their real estate artist. Well, technically, I did explain more about, like, basically, yeah, no one will not show their special talent and not show it around the world. Like how they did on DeviantArt. Now that there's, now there's a website that's, yeah, like I said, called DeviantArt. Basically, everyone all can show their vectoring, their drawing, their painting. Yeah, everybody can now show it around the world. Everyone can like it. Everyone can download it. But they can't take it as yours. Basically, you you go, you the you own it. So if you guys want to do process with that, you can actually make them pay money for that thing if they want to get it, like to download it. Or if you could just download it, but there's going to be a new thing on the middle called uh, just put. DeviantArt, the logo, author by the name of the profile, well, at profile. And now, what I want to explain now this. Yes, everybody but has special talents, but some people don't. Like, here's what I mean, guys. Here's another thing I mean. Yes, it doesn't hurt to show you guys how, what kind of special talents you guys can do. It doesn't matter. Like, you can show it to your family, you can show it to your friends, but yeah, no one will care. And besides, I even tried doing something new in my life. Yeah, sure, I'm an art, I'm a drawler, I even did painting. I was kind of good at it, but I stopped doing it because basically my work was, was dumb, was stupid. But in my life, I kind of missed it. I miss painting. Hell, I even try my best to paint that. That movie, Friday the 13th, because I literally did try to do it. But instead, I have Photoshop. And basically, yeah, Photoshop can help you do painting stuff. All, all you have is just that, is a paintbrush, and basically you can do anything. And hell, I don't even know what this pen thing is called, but it basically has a tablet and has a picture and just put it all on your pen thing on your screen. Hell, everybody now do that because that damn thing is could very very helpful for you guys if you can't if you can't draw like on there with just a mouse you could just use that pen tool thing but also there's all this other stuff that I want to show you do actually though so yeah I guess I could show you guys the tutorial but I want to tell you guys more about painting hold on for the person who made this thing I love it okay I got it for Christmas. It was a pro it was one of those Christmas holiday thing I had it to do on my family like two years ago. Whoever made it or whoever posted it or made it, I'm sorry for showing this, but whoever it is, it's yours. Okay. I want to show you guys one more thing. What I mean about painting. But before I show this thing, I am a huge fan of Star Wars. I basically loved it when I was a kid. My dad, my dad, I watched it with my dad. I watched it with my brother and with my sister. I even have a cake when I was a kid. So this is basically one of the best. Um, I'm pretty sure someone painted it on Photoshop, but used a, a painting uh, tutorial thing. Well, paper basically. Basically, I can't destroy it, and basically, it has this wood thing. But whoever did paint it, this thing, or whoever did it on Photoshop, I love this thing. This is an awesome thing I have ever seen in my life. So, yes, everybody, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to try out your talent. And I'm sorry about saying that, but like, I don't want to be mad or anything, but it doesn't hurt to show around the world about everything. Even people who went to Comic Con. But first, I'm going to put this back. Here's another thing I want to do for a bit. I'm going to put it right here so it so can show better. I got to just slide it here. Grab this. So, here's another design. That what you probably need to have. What you guys need is talent, artistic, 
and ideas and skills. So basically that's four things you probably need to do. If there's anything else I, that you guys see, just please, please just tell me in the comment section below. So basically, everybody have different kind of skills. Like I'm gonna just gonna do an MLP reference and then after that next one, I'll be doing an animation one. But first I need to grab this thing too. I don't have any whiteboard erasers, I'm just gonna use this damn tissue paper. So, here's what I mean about MLP other design. Here, one, whoops. It's one hashtag. Second, or I just do it like that. Second hashtag and third hashtag. Why I'm putting that thing about three thing is I'm gonna have to turn this light off. Hold on, just, hold on. I'm gonna use this lamp. Hold this light. Cause basically I'm pretty sure you guys can hardly see this. Let me just bring it up close. So yeah, here's one, two, and three. What I want to show you guys is like however people does it. I'm pretty sure, I'm guessing, but I know this is what my friend used to did. Well, I can't do it on here, because one, my my friend in school did a trace on computers. You could draw, you could try to learn how to do it on a computer, like try to trace it, but you can't do that, because one, it might break your computer. Another, people, people do it like this. Here's one person how does it. Yes, people have the dots here that basically show how it should go. Yeah, that's basically how everyone else could do their design like that. But Here's my thing. I'm second because that one's number one. And basically, this is how I do it. I look at the computer. I don't trace it. Or I think. I do it like this. I only draw the circle. And I draw the ears. Draw the ears. Draw the mouth. And I tried my best to draw the body. Try my best to do it like that. So yeah, here's basically one of the things that I could do. Here's mine, here's this other person. And now for number three. Like I said, yes, doing, I don't know, try my best to draw a computer. Yeah, this is basically one of the things, yes, you could probably practice on, but I won't risk it. Basically, basically computer thing, like basically they all have different kinds of screen. Yes, you could try your best to draw a, a pony, but basically it won't help you. What I mean is like trying to trace it on a computer it looks like this. You just have a little bit of wavy thing. Like I am, I'm just saying, okay? I'm just saying. But trust me, that's how I saw my friend had it. And I'm trying to not make fun of you, my my friend. So yeah, I told you guys about three. Yes, you could do it on, you could trace it on a computer, but I really, literally, 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 literally
literally won't risk it. Because yes, when you're trying to trace it on a computer, what if you accidentally use the wrong kind of pencil? Or pen? If you kind of push it too hard, it would... It would break. It would break your computer screen. See, look. Here, I'm going to draw one of the old things, like uh, probably uh, 1980. I don't know when computer was made, I'll just probably put 1980. And I'm going to show you guys Archive. Archive from, uh, let's see, about like uh, 2000 and... I'm just going to put our year right now, 2018. Computer design, about like from this time and basically now this time. And designed for these. For the old 1980 thing, computer has kind of different kind of screen. It's basically like a TV. They have this little device thing from right here for the screen. And basically, there's another another line that comes over here. There's a little machine thing that shows the device and screen thing. Well, screen. Also, here, the glass, the pixels, the screen. The glass thing, it, can, it could break easily with a hammer. And basically, it could shatter. Like how you guys see on, like, the, the slow-mo guys, how they show you guys how, to, how the screen breaks. And I'll show you guys right here. By the way, the link of the video right there will be in the description below. And so, the computer screen on here would ex would kind of work, but put like force in it, like you're trying to force it and try to do it. Don't do it. It would break. And now I'm going to show you guys ours. And trust me, guys, how I'm going to show you guys about this one is because I actually did broke my old computer monitor. And I drew it outside. I even have some pictures of it. So, here's why I'm going to tell you guys about this one. But, I want to erase this. I'm going to erase this thing. And show you guys in better quality. I'm going to show you guys it better. Now, here is now ours. Here's is ours, the uh, let's see, uh, 2018 version. So, yeah, other computer monitors, they're now flat. Basically now it's like, it's kind of like a laptop. And I have no idea what's inside of a laptop, and I'm sorry about being moving this, because this thing is actually kind of the ass for doing it like this way. So yeah, inside, here's a, here's a hint. We got a screen that's basically, it feels, it feels like plastic, but it's not. It's basically plastic and glass mixed together. I just don't know what the hell to call. What you got now, is now paper glass. Here, right here, it's a paper glass. The second, it's now the screen picture. And what I mean for paper glass, paper glass can actually try to protect it, but won't won't work. Trust me, I did hit it with a hammer, and it did kind of went kind of right through. And what you got next is now metal. It's not that big, so basically, hold on, I'm gonna try to fix that. It's basically like that small. It's basically like this small. This is how the paper, the, here's screen, screen covered by paper glass, and now the screen that shows you what it, what it looks like. And here is now where the technology is that control, that could hold, like harness, and all the tech that had to hook it up. And right here, this is basically all, this room is all your tech that's hooking up to the screen. So right here, is a device 
here it's a flat uh, basically like if you want a headphone you can put it right here and let's just say if you have another screen thing yes it could be in the back but the wire would be this long hooking up and basically you want a wind thing basically the damn thing is right here like basically in the back of your cover you can feel like a wind on it yes it could create a lot of heat even if you have it on a lot so yeah trying to trace it with this one could work but like I said even if like you try to put force on it here here here's another th thing right here like it's what I mean like I'm pretty sure you guys see this a lot like when you're trying to hit it you can see like this bubble thing like around it even if you have force on it or when you like like if you have like a pencil or if you use like a finger or like a finger you get when you push it hard you can actually see the wave and see the different kind of colors that's what I mean about computer stuff well computer hardware yes Tracing it is a bad idea. Yes, it would it would damage your computer and your monitor. But towers technically not. I don't even we don't even know why I'm talking about towers. But here's one thing that you could trace it on, but yes, it would be big. Basically what I mean is you basically probably need a TV. If a computer is like a TV, and you try to draw like that, it would be fine. But, trying to look it up on a TV, like, this is the TV I'm talking about, this kind of old TV. The one I have, right here. And basically I just stepped on something else. Well, my trash. Why is my trash bag right there? Oh yeah, that's right, I was cleaning up. So yeah, if you have like a, mo a TV like this, it would work. It won't damage it. It won't do nothing. Unless, yeah. Yeah, it would work. So yeah, if you guys still have one of the old computer, it could work. But just don't hit it. Just don't push it too damn hard. It would break and damage the screen. And basically now you'll see kind of like a, a white color on there. That basically you see something that's white it will turn blue turn the computer off you can still see it and then after that it goes away all right now where's it here it is so now i'm gonna put it like sideways and basically i feel like i'm acting like a damn scientist well i feel like dr Eric brown he just got a time machine in a freaking movie called Back to the Future. So, now what I'll be talking about is anime. People, yes, childs and kids, my little sister, they can't draw anything. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to show you guys my little sister today. I love her so much. She's like an angel to me. And basically, I want to take care of her. My little sister, she loves anime. She loves Friday, Five Nights at Freddy. She tried her best to try to draw a character on there. Say like, um, Freddy. This is how she's probably do it. This is how she does it. Well, right now she got better, so here's how she did it. Okay, so this is basically like a kind of 100% like it, but it's not. I never draw anything that's human or anything. So basically, this is how I draw. My little sister got so much better, she actually became a good drawler. Now she's very good at drawing Five Nights at Freddy's. So basically, this is how I did it, and this is how she used to do it when she was a kid. 
And I'm Ashwalina, if you're watching this, or Giovanna, if you're watching this, I'm sorry for actually actually doing that. Next time, believe not their name, that's her YouTube name. I don't think they have a YouTube. Well, no, my mom does. They sometimes use theirs, hers. Uh, okay, yeah, now back to the animation, the anime. Like I said, people use these stuff. People use this, basically a Target logo. Try to draw the perfect animation. And basically hairstyle. Basically, people do it like this. Do that, erase these. I hope to God I'm not ruining art. People do it like this. They use those, those dots. And they try their best to erase it. Like even if they draw it. Then after that, the animation would become per perfectly sex successful. Per Perception. I can't say it right. Sexual? No. Successive. That's how they call it. Successive. God damn, I said it wrong. Successful. They say successful. Thank you very good. Yes, people do use this. Or sometimes they just try their best. And that's how I do. I try my, I try my best to draw pictures. Like if I try to draw this. Mm, it's a, hold on. Let me try my best. We're trying to draw the hair. I'm not very good at doing whiteboard, so I try my best to do stuff without without using using this this thing basically people use this but yet yeah, you have to use these stuff because basically it can help you find out where the words are located like an eye a mouth a nose another eyes the hair <laughs> then yes everyone and everybody in the world will be one of the greatest artists and painters and designers. Actually, I talk about painting too. Sorry, putting this away. I like how paintings. Uh, like how you told you guys about that painting. Everybody, basically, painting is basically like drawing, but instead you use color. That's water. You get this board thing. back in the back of this it's basically a board it covers one end and basically the other, the other stuff is just nothing like how I showed you guys on that but painting yes you can use pencils like like these ones you can use this or when it's like pitch nothing, you use a regular pencil. And like once you want to draw the design, like say if you guys want a moon, a mountain, And like a field. Here's your here's basically like your mountain. Basically how if it's gonna be the moon you meet need the brightness. From this side, this side, and a, a little bit up in here. But on this other one, you guys have nothing. And let's just say you guys want a road. Start right here. 
in the middle, or here, or here. Basically, you could have it anywhere, like anywhere right here in a straight line. And let's just say you guys want a cloud. Let's just put one right here, like here. And here and here. There you go. Here's basically your cloud. And here, I'm gonna use this blue one to see if this thing still works. Good. It worked. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. There we go. Now, now what I did, like, what well, I learned in art class, this is basically like mm -hmm. your art line. And what I mean art line is basically what you want to put in the design. Now, we got a mountain, we got a moon, you got a cloud, or basically a sun. Yes, yeah, sun, you can do the same thing, but basically it's like brighter. Out of here, a little bit up, and then same way right here. And now I'm going to show you guys about the road. And basically, probably like you guys want water. Yes, you can have it like anywhere that's here. I've got to put here, here. Here, 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 here. Like, basically anywhere that's right there in that center. And now, here's what I want to know. When a design is like you guys want, like a painting, if you guys want to, because it's so far away, you can't hardly see it. Do this. Start here, like where you want to go, and where it is, just move to there. Another one. Like that. Okay, so we make it smaller. Try to draw a street. There you go. You gotta roll it. And let's just say you guys want a sign. Here you go. You just. And if it's right here, try to draw it. Like that. There you go. We got your street, you got a road, and you got a sign right there. And now here's another thing this is like, like let's just say a river. Yes, you can do it the same like this, but if the if the hole or well, the river is bigger, you could go like you could start where this dot is, go one, two, three. Three inches away from it. And you can start here for the water and just Drag it down and now we draw the water. You could just go here, 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 here. There you got your water. And I don't know, maybe what if there's a tree? And it's like right here, like in front of you. I don't know if I have any green. Oh yeah, I do got a green. That's good. Now let's just save. You want a tree. If it's like right here, in this center, you could just go left and right, left and right, left and right, left and right, right 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 and right. There you go, you have a tree, basically. There. And here's another thing about uh, the sign and other stuff. It depends on how high the moon, the moon, basically moon, there's no shadow, there's nothing, it's just pitch black. But let's just say that this is now the sun. Now, what you probably want is now shadow. I like how you see that. Here, let me just put them in this. Take a what we're in the suit. Could have done it before. Then, nope, I gotta do it later. Now, let's try to do a shadow. The angle of everything's sun. It could be right this way, this way. Or here. So anywhere that the sun could probably be, it could be right, left or right or middle. 
If it's middle, you need to draw the shadow this way. But make sure the thing is bigger so that everyone can see it. And the other side, same way. But now, let's say if it's on this side. If it's on that side, you draw it this way. And you have the same thing this way. The light of the angle for every uh, every sun or everything has to be where it depends where it is. Hell, you can actually use a ruler. Like, or if you don't have a ruler, you could just try to use something that you could know. And to actually help you with that, just draw a light, a light bulb. And point it for which angle the sun will be. Like, like I said, this way, this way, or this way. So our left, right, or middle. Depending on every kind of uh, sunlight or anything. For for example, I move this out of the way. Let me put it here. Put the chair. And now you see me. Yes, you can see a shadow that's coming from this side, and that's why this screen is coming this way. That screen is turning this way. So the light of that thing will be on my other side. And now I'm going to be using my screen light. Now I'm pointing this light that way. So you can see the shadow is now this side. My shadow is this side. My shadow is here. The other shadows is basically up there. Because what I mean is covering this covering some of the other stuff that's on this side and this thing is not all the way straight it's basically kind of like a corner like a quarter inch and now let's say if I want to put it in the middle now you can see the shadow is basically kind of close to me and now let's go right here and there it is my other shadow this way you can all learn about that science thing, like about like, I think Bill Nye the science guy, or any scientist, about how the sunlight works. I feel like a damn scientist now, because... So, for every art thing, yes, you can do shadow, you, can, you have to figure out where the light will be, or, depends on where it is. If there's no other thing, and you just want to like draw, let's just say a super moon. And when I mean super moon, it means the super, well, super moon is basically one of the brightest moon that's up in the air, and you can basically see anything outside. Like anything. And what time is it? Oh, it's 5.39. So, yeah, if it's like a super moon, and you want to make the art thing like super moon, yes, you do it the same way how drawing and paintings are. Well, let me bring it closer. Yes, you can do it the same way how this is. You can do middle, this way, or that way, left and right. So, that's basically how I'm showing you guys how artwork kind of works. And basically, I'm trying to tell you guys what happened if there are any. And I got, actually, I already said it. Basically, if there's no art, there's no skills, there's no talent, basically, no one, basically, everyone will probably be retarded. And not think about, like, be like one of those rich people. Just be like, hmm, I do say, this is our speakable light. Who invented it? Was it Bill Haller? Or was it John F. Kennedy? But John F. Kennedy is a president, so who invented this light? Hmm. There is no name. No designer. No creator. Who invented light? Or nothing. And that's what I mean. Basically, people who's rich or love museums. How people got to do skills. They could be sculptors. 
be basically just engineering. They could just create stuff. That's basically what they think of their mind. And basically, if they have nothing to try to create it, they use notebook papers. Put all their design and basically what they think of creating. And basically just put it like in a book or in a dictionary or comedy, I think. I don't know, what book is this? Oh yeah, this is an ABC uh, history book. So yeah, people have skills. People have gifts. Like the person who can memorize everything around the world. And the guy who can hold electricity. And basically these people who skills about painting, artists, sculpting, architect, and engineering. I don't know what the hell they call it, basically they just use metal and they try to do their best to make it different. Like, let's just say, if someone do this scope. Someone makes a scope. They try their best to basically do the shirt. Like, try to figure out where the shirt is. How it looks. And how the hair does. How everything, basically, it's like a memory. People have to remember how it is. Yes, they can do this. They can just go, like... Hmm. Okay, it's like that and then that. They can do that. Yes, it's helpful. Yes, you can even use your hand. You're like your thumb, like what I just did. Doing this and this. Shows the angle and shows you what the width, I think. Yeah, width. This has been like a seven, uh, four, uh, uh, four minute and seven, and a seven minute video, oh, 40 to seven minutes video. And that's good. I basically wanted it to be short, kinda. And now, I'm gonna, well, technically, yeah, I've been explaining about artwork and how, how people can show their design and other stuff. But, hmm, let's talk about this. What if you guys wanna make a book? Like how I was just reading at the beginning of the video. The Tales of the Dark Crystal. People hire people who's good with artwork. They don't know where they could be. You could contact them on DeviantArt or you could just send them an email on basically on Twitter. But there was no Twitter back in the day. Back in the day, they had to figure it out like who, who's basically the better skills and basically who's a painter. Basically, people never used like pictures on their book before. Only for diaries and other stuff. And if you guys want pictures in it, yes, you can hire people to actually try to do your own, basically, work. You tell them what you want, they do it. Basically, kind of like... I don't know, shit. Like comic books, basically. How basically how comic book and anime uh, manga basically are. They have words, they have pictures, and it's basically like the same thing like a comic book. Comic book and a book comic book is basically the same thing. But if they just want to leave words, they could just boot, do a picture of the cover or they could just put a word on there. Basically, people just use Photoshop as well. Why do you expect people have these green screens now? Basically, hell, you've got this massive light thing. You can use a green screen to actually do, basically take a picture. Like if I do this. Yeah, they can take a picture, put it on Photoshop, take the green screen out, put something that they created in the background. And like when you zoom in on a green on a green screen, you will also see, like, basically a little of it. You have to try their best to handle it and try to erase it as the best way they can. I like how I mean about those pin things. They can't paint. Like if they don't have any paintbrush or anything. Hell yeah, they could use your freaking Photoshop. It's basically the same thing. You could just use that pen, draw what you guys want to do, try your best to paint it. And basically, 
Photoshop have these uh, ad folder thing, basically. Background, sketches, colors. So, hold on. Basically, I'm gonna bring it closer now. I'm gonna bring it closer as best I can. There. So now it's basically a video that's not been a 15 minute video. So like, let's see, like, uh, let's talk about Adobe Flash. Let's do Adobe Flash here. Oh, I spelled it right. Adobe Flash. And basically, I don't know how to spell Photoshop because I keep forgetting. So I'm just going to put APS. So now we're going to be talking about Photoshop here. Photoshop on basically on the bottom on the bottom corner, there's these stuff. There's like all these other designs like here, 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 and here. Another stuff here, 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 and here. There's also a folder thing that has basically what you got, like like I said, like a background or another thing, like colors or something. I don't really want to do this because I, I hate it. I hate that kind of, I don't know. So yeah, basically people could use Photoshop for sketch, color, or backgrounds. Basically, if they want to make more about background, they could just make another black background folder. And now, we're going to be talking about Adobe Flash here. Adobe Flash is basically kind of different. Basically, yes, you can do video games, but like how other people, they have vectors. Let's just make the whole damn thing. Just there, 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 picture. Another tool thing. So basically like tools here, 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 here. Basically, vector stuff has all kinds of different tools. And basically anything that you need. Photoshop does the same thing. But different kind of folder. Well, folder. Yes, they could do vectorings. But this one, basically, all you have is this. The toolpad thing, whatever the hell they call it. Basically, it'll work here, 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 here. But on Photoshop, they're bigger. So, if you don't want to create, like, let's just say, a moon, a character, that's what this Adobe, uh, Adobe Photoshop is. It can help you with vectoring, it can help you with basically the thing you need. Or, like I said, or one, you can just use, uh, what the hell is it called? Uh, Illustrator. So yeah, let's just say you can use Illustrator. Basically, it's the same thing, like Adobe Flash. It's basically for vectoring or other designers. But for Photoshop, there's always. There's always pixels. When you zoom in on an art thing, there's always pixels. Box, 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 and box. But like like, like Adobe Flash and uh, an after after effect. If you try to do a, a sketch art, like let's just try to do this. I feel like drawing like a pony right now. when you use a micro a telescope and you zoom in all the way to 20% what you see is this what you will see is basically one a perfect straight line instead of pixels 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 Pixels, pixel, 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 pixels. Basically, you won't see that. If you zoom in all the way to the sketch art, 
You won't see pixels. But with Adobe Flash and uh, Adobe Flash and After Effects. Basically, they help you with artwork, like mountain, crystals, characters. Those two things are the helpful design that you could basically use. But for Adobe Photoshop, this thing basically helps you for painting, sketches, or drawings. For for now, let's just say this. Where's that red notebook I had? Oh, it's under there. For now, basically, people are now good at drawing characters. I always forget what my old drawings and stuff are. Like, I'm gonna show you this thing. This is my sister's, not the book. This is her drawing. For Adobe, Adobe Photoshop, you can use that pen thing and do this. You can draw that. Or, here's mine. Let's see if I can find it. That's it. I wonder if here it is. This is basically one of my ex-drawings I did for my ex-girlfriend. People can now draw this on Photoshop. Because now people are not doing good with hairs and everything. You can now do that on Photoshop. Hell, you can even see all the people on YouTube doing it too. So yeah. This thing could be good for painting and sketches, and this one could be vectoring or characters or video games. And basically, if you want to like create a picture, you could just go on the top link corner, just put it on and uh, as uh, something X is something inch uh, uh, image. You could put that, put it on the Adobe Flash, put it there, create the background, and create the sketches. Well, like cloud, sun, moon. Fog. You can put, you can use these stuff and work with these on Photoshop. So technically, if you guys don't have Photoshop, I recommend you guys try and get it. Because basically, these two, these three things can help you, can help you a lot. Now, I don't want this thing to be an hour video. I really don't want to do that again. So, I just want to say thank you guys for listening to. One of my art this, uh, art thing and, and basically kind of tutorials and basically explaining. Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this video. Please hit the subscribe button if you guys want to see, well, check out what other videos I'll be doing. Please hit the spell con for what video will be coming out soon. Will basically coming out. And if you guys want me to do explain more things about artistic or sketches or Photoshop, I'll be happy to do that, but you guys have to tell me in the description below or make this video to all the way to 100 likes. All right, I'll see you guys till next time. I love you guys so much, and I want you guys to just take it away. Take away everything. But I promise you guys, basically, don't give up what you're doing. Try to be basically one of the best artistic or architect or anything. Anything you always dreamed of. You can do it. Try your best. And never, ever give up on your dreams.